Today I'm having an LED facial. I'm here at Spa Radiance in San Francisco. I feel like I'm in this little jewel box. There are so many gorgeous products. They customize facial treatments and they're known for their innovative technology. I'm here with Angelina, the founder of the spa. I'm gonna take you with me. We're gonna go have an LED customized facial and learn all about this unique treatment. Kayla, when I do a facial, what I try to do is customize the facial for you, meaning what your concerns are, that's the kind of facial I'm going to do. So what I try to do is basically see what bothers you and then customize the facial, but I don't do it as a facial at a time. I try to think of what your program is going to be because I don't work with clients just one time and then never see them again. When my clients come here or they come to Spa Radiance, what we try to do is try to fix your skin, try to work with you, and for years, I have clients who've been coming to me for 36 years. Mm -hmm. So we have to think about what are your concerns and also what can we do to get your skin looking better and better and better. You can't judge us from one facial or me because one facial is nothing. It's basically just one time you walked in, mm -hmm. I did the treatment, and you walked out. It might be not even better. It could be peeling, it could be a little red, it could be a little irritated mm -hmm. because we do very advanced facials here. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about what bothers you. Let me customize the facial, but then we have to talk about what your program is going to be and what you're able to do at home and what, how often you're able to come to the spa. What are your concerns on your skin? Right now, I would say my top concerns, I'm starting to get, you know, fine lines around the eyes. Uh, and just overall, I think dehydration is something I'm constantly, I mean, I'm always applying moisturizers and hydrating serums. Also, I just want to prevent. I'm very much into the preventative phase. Um, I don't want to, I'm starting to see the fine lines, and so I want to, I want to address them so they don't get any worse. So what I'm hearing is dehydration, fine lines around your eyes, and then preventative care, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. So when I do a facial here, or we do a facial at Spa Radiance, the goal is not to just do one facial, it's more of a program. And the program will, will have to customize depending on what your concerns are. Because you said your concerns are dehydration, fine lines, and then we will talk about preventative care. Mm -hmm. uh, you have to think of us as more of a team that we're gonna work together to deal with these issues. You cannot expect results. I always say I'm an esthetician, not a magician. Mm -hmm. So it's really important for us to work together. That means you doing things at home and me doing things for here. So I have to mm -hmm. think a year's worth of a plan, a year ahead. But don't expect results really fast, but let's just deal with some of the issues. So I'm going to cleanse your skin okay. and then I'm going to take off the makeup and we're going to look at your skin, see what's going on. Um, I'm already feeling the dehydration, so you're completely correct. You are dehydrated. And uh, when you say fine lines, they really are very fine. There's not a lot of lines on, around your eyes, but I can see that it's just, 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 just peaking. But it could also be because of de dehydration. The more dehydrated you are, the more mm -hmm. the lines will show. So when you're yeah. dehydrated, it, think of it as a, a raisin that mm -hmm. dries up. Yes. And then you put a lot of water into the raisin and the raisin plumps becomes up. plumps up. So that's what we have to think about. So we are going to be looking at your skin, removing your dryness and thinking how can we hydrate and start working with just, mm -hmm. I, I don't even want to say it's lines because it's not even really, it's just the beginning, beginning, beginning of a little bit of a little peekaboo of a line. What's, what do you think that the number one concern that you see with women's skin over all the years that you've been working with skin? I think it's so simple. I think it's going to surprise you what I'm going to say because it's such a simple step. And that is step number one, which is cleansing. We talked a little bit about it, but most people use stripping cleansers. And mm -hmm. that is such a simple thing mm -hmm. because it's your first step that you do and it's done incorrectly. Wow. The and cleansers are so important. I actually get this question quite a bit now that we're talking about it. 
so many people are like, oh, I don't really want to spend much on the cleanser because it's not on my skin for very long. I'd rather invest in a serum. What would you say to that? I, it's the most important step. It's yes. a step that can make it or break it. You could spend, <laughs> you could spend $200 <laughs> on a serum. You, yes. You're thinking, okay, I'm just going to splurge. But that serum is not going to penetrate as well into your skin if you have not used the right cleanser. Right. It's, it's a waste of money. My thing is please do not, you know, save money skip on a it. cleanser. Don't skip yeah. it. Yes. I love, 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 love using Milky Cleanser. Okay. And the reason why is I don't want to strip too much of your natural oils. Mm -hmm. When you strip a lot of your natural oils with foamy cleansers that have sulfates in it, what happens is the skin gets dry. It's over cleaned. It's the same as if you overwash um, clothes, a piece of clothes or a silk that you've washed too many times. It gets dry and it loses its juicy, juiciness to it. Mm -hmm. So we don't want to remove a lot of your natural oils. Natural oils are, are very healthy for the skin and you want to keep as much of your natural oil as possible. And I know it's hard. In America, people love to overclean. Yes, and, and scrub. And, and scrub and use acids and they just want to keep taking, you know, things off and yes. uh, the emphasis is usually on removing and not a lot of emphasis on keeping moisture that's there in your skin. Mm -hmm. So it's not dirt, it's natural oils. And remember, Milky Cleanser and your own oil mix very well together, oil and oil. Think of it compared to oil and water. You put water on oil, it stays on top, but oil and oil, they mix in together and uh, can be removed any kind of built up can be removed much easier with a cream mm -hmm. cleanser compared to a foamy cleanser. Foamy cleansers just dry the skin and almost seal everything in. Mm -hmm. It becomes almost like cement on the skin, really dry and hard. Very hard to clean the skin once people have been using a lot of foamy cleansers. When they come in, it's, it, strip it. it's they, too stripping, oh, it's right? Too, it's over stripped yeah. and it's really hard to do extractions, yeah. it's hard to do. I double cleansed. And then I'm gonna do a skin analysis. I'm gonna look at your skin. I know your concerns. I'm gonna see what my concerns are in your skin and then customize a facial that will be perfect for your skin Thanks. for today. Doesn't mean that's a facial I'm gonna be doing for the rest of your life, right. but for today, because each facial is customized and each time you come in, I look and see what's going on with your skin and I design the facial depending on what's happening with your skin, the condition. So I've noticed that the pores are a little bit larger than I'd like them to be. Mm -hmm. uh, and that has to do with dehydration in the skin. So we have to start thinking of what else we can do to give your skin moisture, water, nourishment. Mm -hmm. And I do notice, I know you said a little bit that there's a little bit of redness, mm -hmm. maybe rosacea you're worried about. Mm -hmm. And I do notice that the capillaries are getting a little bit bigger than I would like them to be. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's just the beginning of a little bit of a capillary here that is just widening on your nose. And that's normal areas around the side of the noses. And a little bit of clogged pores, which has to have to be cleaned out. But first, I need to get rid of some of the dead skin. I'll use a little bit of a dermabrasion. Not as much, very, very mild around here because of your capillaries. But we do need to remove some of the dead skin. I want it. I don't want it to get, I don't want to be doing anything to make it worse. Okay. I mean, LED lights are your perfect candidate for that. But um, have you already had lasers done and things I like never, that? Never. No. Because for the capillaries that you have, to mm -hmm. tighten that capillary wall mm -hmm. would be really actually healthy for you. Because what's happening right now, what I'm seeing, mm -hmm. is the capillaries are getting bigger. They're red. They're red. Yeah. And if we don't catch it fast, they start spreading. Okay. And it becomes like a little bit of a, if you think of it uh, as a cow, cow web almost, you know? Okay. It, it starts with one and it's, it starts spreading. So it's easier to tighten it mm -hmm. when it's just the beginning. And then with capillaries, you always will do it. You first do it as a series, the laser, but then you do it a couple times a year. Because once you've gotten rid of the red. That's the fastest way to do it. LED lights also work very well, uh, but you need, you know, you need to really commit to it. So there's two ways to approach it. LED lights or you go in and you do a photofacial with lasers. I see. Um, I like both. 
to be honest with you. I just think they work really well together. Having said that, do I think LED light, just LED lights will help? Yes. Um, but if you can, of course, depending on financially, if you can afford it or, you know, then mm -hmm. I would say do both. I see. Because lasers are very good if they're done correctly, you know? And LED lights are also very good. So I have a lot of clients who are like, I don't want any lasers, I don't want any... Then, and, you know, then you have to really commit to coming in for LED lights. You cannot expect a result after a couple of times or judging LED lights after just a couple of times. Okay. LED lights will help you with the issue that you told me about, which is the fine lines that are just starting. LED lights are fantastic for that because it was created by NASA for astronauts for cell regeneration. So when you go out of space, there's not a lot of cell turnover. So what happens is they start aging, but they're not worried about beauty. What they worry about if there's a cut, a bruise, or infection, it won't heal. No cell regeneration, no healing. So when you go out of space, you basically start aging, you go backwards. So NASA dis discovered these LED lights that were created especially for the issue of healing. So. Um, Astronauts would go out of space, they would stand under LED lights, and that way if they got a cut or a bruise or an infection, uh, the skin would heal. And we're going to use it for you to help you with the fine lines, the preventative, tightening up the pores, and just building up more collagen in your skin. It's a fantastic tool, but you do have to come in. It's not a one-time um, treatment. LED lights need to be done often, and a dose uh, is about twice a week for two months and uh, we have an LED club for that actually where you come in you get LED lights not this whole facial that I'm doing mm -hmm. but just cleanse LED lights and then sunscreen you're out of here it's about a 30 minute um, appointment what are the main differences between the different lights I know I've seen the blue and the red hmm. a lot of the lights are just little Christmas lights they're just little bulbs that are put there and they go from red to blue to purple yeah. we don't know what it does we yes. have no idea maybe somehow it does but it's never been tested mm -hmm. this machine it has FDA approval ratings uh, six FDA approvals meaning that they prove that it stimulates collagen they prove that infrared takes out inflammation but the way to do it is the timing the pulsation of the lights okay so a lot of people see oh I go to the store and there's it's 19.99 and there's yes. a lot it's just red lights I don't know it feels good but uh, does it do something I haven't really seen it do anything um, but I, I know that these lights do wonders um, we've seen it with acne we've seen it with a little bit of rosacea I've seen it for fine lines and sometimes I do it my clients come in they've been injured and we'll do LED lights on that area and they're like oh my god it's, within days they start feeling better because we took inflammation out of that area Wow we put eye goggles on we're okay. gonna start the lights and so do I need to close my eyes I'm gonna put little goggles on okay so do you want to I'm fourth generation esthetician. I'm sure you read about that. But mm -hmm. my great grandmother did skincare. My gra grandmother and my mom, who retired a few years ago, but she comes all the time. And now me, and I think I'm the last one because my son is so not interested. It's not even funny. <laughs> <laughs> so not interested. Okay, this is the gel mask. That we're wow. going to put on your face. Beautiful color. Isn't that a gorgeous color? Mm -hmm. So all of this is going to get, it's going to penetrate into your skin and we're going to use a light to help push it in. Okay. Mmm, it feels so nice. Yeah, it has a lot of hyaluronic acid, which is, a th you know, hyaluronic acid is a thousand times heavier than water. It's a good, good way to get moisture back into the skin, seal in your water and moisture level. And it doesn't clog. So hyaluronic acid is wonderful for acne because it won't clog the skin. But it, ac one of the issues with acne is, again, people overstrip. Mm -hmm. And the skin gets dry on top, mm -hmm. and it even gives you even more oil. Right. And then, and that's a disaster. So very important to constantly keep your skin in a balance. Mm -hmm. Once it goes off balance, then it just nothing works well. So the machine is getting ready for the blue light, which we're going to put on you right now. Mm, it feels so good.
Okay, I'm gonna remove the mask. Oh, feels so good. <laughs> See? <laughs> so if this doesn't have a lot of moisture left in it because your skin needed it, yeah. sometimes if it still has a lot of moisture left, I'll give it to you to take it home and do it at home, but it doesn't penetrate as deep unless I use the lights, but it's okay. still very hydrating, but it's just not a lot left in it. My I don't skin, know if you can yeah, drink, it, it, all drink in. it all in, so it's not very wet anymore. I'm going to use oxygen. We use medical grade oxygen here and I mix it with serums. I get my serums from Switzerland and I love them. They're very clean and I mix it with a little bit of saline solution, which is a great carrier. And it's about 50 different minerals and vitamins that are mixed in and then the oxygen comes out of this gun at the same time as the serums. So we infuse the skin with serums uh, from Luzerne, which is a great Swiss line that I found about 10 years ago when they just started, 10, 15 years, I can't even remember. Time goes by so fast. So I mix everything together and then I'm going to get very close to your skin, really, really close so that it just gets right into the pores and start infusing this um, with the oxygen and serums mixed in. And the serums are for hydration. It has a little bit of vitamin C for brightness. And I love the results. So I'm gonna put oxygen that I mixed up for you. And it has a lot of vitamins and minerals. And I'm gonna slowly penetrate it into the skin. I love this layering process. As I said, there's a lot of facials that have everything in it. It does the abrasion and then oxygen comes out. And I just feel that at first I need to strip the skin really well and then put the nourishments back. I, when it's done all in one step, it's faster for sure. And you can do the facial really, really fast, but it just doesn't work as well. And I've tried, I've always look at ways, what can we do to kind of make, give you a chance to run in and run out. But you know, it, it just, the skin likes this process and you have to go with, slowly with it and, and start penetrating products in, but slowly. And first you, I strip, that's what I started doing. I removed as much dead skin as I can at one time. And then after that, if you notice, I'm rebuilding. So I first get in, strip, and then I rebuild. Both steps are very important and both cannot be rushed. I'm gonna massage a mask into your skin and this mask has a lot of oxygen molecules in it and Veronix. Veronix is this little powder that's on the babies mm. and the powder is there to protect them in, when they're in your wound. Mm. And what happens is it, the skin, on the, the, it doesn't dry out. It's called Veronix. It's a little powder. They're born with it. And that's what's a Veronix. It's, it's not real from the babies, but it's a, mm -hmm. they uh, were able to figure out what the Veronix compound was and they basically matched it perfectly. And then they mixed it with this oxygen molecule. And this is a mask that I'm massaging. It's great for dry skin and sensitive skin. I always like to apply a mask on lips and neck and chest, by the way. So when I think of the face, the face starts from here all the way to the forehead. And I like to do a technique that's a little bit deeper, but it's lifting. Mm -hmm. So I go into the muscle and I lift the muscle as I massage. So I'm training the muscles to be stronger, firmer, and to wake up, not go to sleep. I can't have you sleep. I need you to wake up. So it's kind of like yoga or Pilates for the face. And I wait, I feel the muscles. I'm sure you're feeling it too, mm -hmm. right? And it just, did you feel that just mm -hmm. now? Okay, so just waiting for it to lift. Which is gonna happen. But you have to be very patient. And then I go up and I take it all the way to the end. And I'm able to lift really well. 
with this technique and we did that before we had all these microcurrent machines that I have now that I love we used to do it with hands and my mom actually taught me this technique we're originally from Russia and it was very popular in Russia to do lifting massages for the ladies even during communist times when things were very dark and dreary all the women wanted to look good and be lifted and this was our technique for lifting very old world technique I love it when my clients mask every single day for about a month when I start working with them because I want to fill up the skin with a lot of nutrients and that helps much fat it works on the skin faster when you mask masks are more concentrated than creams or, mm -hmm. or serums and we can revive the skin with masks and I've noticed that when I do that I have you do about two three different masks every day the skin just comes back alive really fast and then you don't have to do it as often you do it a couple of times a week or every day I actually do a mask every day mm -hmm. a lot of us here do I know it's hard to do non-stop everyday mask but at least for a month as a jump start. And do you recommend to change the masks with the seasons? Yes, or? for sure. Change in the summer we don't need as hydrating because the skin it's warm out and the skin doesn't need as much. So we do other things, uh, more of um, protectant and nourishing from the sun, or um, because you are traveling a lot and you have using a lot of sunscreen. I might even include a mask that has enzymes in it to help digest some of the buildup. So it depends what you're doing. I think about it and I make a routine for the next couple of months knowing what you're going to be doing. I'm doing a little bit of lymphatic drainage also. So I'm draining a lot of the puffiness out of the skin because that's important too. And then I'm going to use these cold spoons on you to even deep up more the skin. I do a little bit better drainage with it. So the way I do the cold spoons is I do lymphatic drainage and I try to drain the inflammation out of the skin. The less inflammation, the better collagen stimulation you can have, the products penetrate better. So I'm always thinking of not only your routine, but also things that are going to help you with um, inflammation. lack of inflammation not more inflammation feels good yeah mm, feels so good so cooling so this is cryotherapy and that's where we use cold after we've done so much work in heat and lights and abrasion and enzymes we want to just cool the skin off take away a lot of the heat out of the skin and for your type of skin, this is just exactly what it needs. So when you cleanse your skin, when you wash your face, I would mm -hmm. wash it with lukewarm, more cool water than warm water. Mm -hmm. I know you are so busy, Angelina, and you've had some of your clients for years. And you have this team here at Spa Radiance. Do you train everyone here? If they can't get in to see you, how does how does someone you know book an appointment? So a lot of my clients go to other people. They don't just go to me because I do travel. Like I'm going to France uh, to do a class there on microcurrents, lifting mm -hmm. class in April. So I'll be gone for a few weeks. So my clients go to uh, whoever's available mm -hmm. because the ladies here are all trained under me and my mom. So they start... With number one, I always hire a seasoned esthetician. I don't take anybody straight out of school because mm -hmm. there is definitely a learning curve mm -hmm. to skin. 
care and taking care of skincare. But we do train everybody in our method. They're in the room while I'm doing the facials. Like after the facial, I'll explain to them what I did and why I did that. And then we have a lot, a lot of classes here, nonstop. Everybody who ever joins Spa Radiance Team, they're always shocked at how many classes we have, how many educators we have. We have somebody coming next week for a whole week on all the new treatments that are happening right now in Paris mm -hmm. from Biologique. And she's going to be here eight hours a day for uh, five days straight showing us everything. So we're constantly learning, nonstop, nonstop learning. And everybody here does such an amazing job. I'm so proud of the people that work here. The ladies are really well educated and they know this technique and these methods really well. And they're all very seasoned estheticians. They've been doing this for a long time. this off and we're going to put a moisturizer on okay. and a little bit of a serum okay. and then a sunscreen. I just finished my facial. I feel so relaxed and cozy. My skin feels clean. I loved those LED lights. And from what I learned, you know, from Angelina, it's something that you need to do regularly. So I definitely want to sign up and come in, you know, for those regular LED lights to see the maximum results. So I hope you loved this video. If you're in San Francisco, definitely check out Spa Radiance. It's here on Fillmore Street. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. You can email me. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel and I'll see you soon.